If you thought this was a samurai sword, you're absolutely wrong. Incorrect. This is a measuring device that we use in science. We call it a meter stick. If you look closely, we can see that it's labeled in centimeters, and it even has very, very small marks that label millimeters. Today we're going to work on measuring using the metric ruler, or the meter stick. So, the first thing that you want to do is get something to measure. I have here eight dimes. I'm going to measure the eight dimes and try to get it as close to the exact measurement as possible. Alright, I'm putting my meter stick right up to the edge, making sure the dimes are in a straight row, and just touching where it says zero. Now, if your metric ruler doesn't start at the very end, you have to make sure you're starting where it says zero on the metric ruler. That'll help you out. All right, now we're gonna look. It appears right over here is the ending, and it's just a little bit less than 15 centimeters. So, we could say that it's about 14 point seven centimeters, 14.7, make sure you record your data, 14.7 centimeters. Now the nice thing about this system that we use in science is that uh, with metric, in order to find out how many millimeters it is, I simply move the decimal one place to my left or right, excuse me. So 14.7, how many millimeters, is 147 millimeters. And that's abbreviated MM. Again, make sure you're recording your data. Measuring length. Eight dimes is 14.7 centimeters or 147 millimeters. Now, I'm gonna do 16 dimes and test it out. So I'm adding two at a time, there's two, Here's four, trying to keep them in a straight line, six, and my 16 dimes. Okay, let's just tilt the camera a little bit this way. Now we can see the end of my 16 dimes. Again, make sure you're starting at the very end of the metric ruler, and it should be right on the edge. This one is just a little off. Now we got it fixed. Okay, now we're gonna look at this one. Keep the dimes in a straight row, or whatever you're measuring. Go ahead and see what number is the last number you see that the dimes actually go past. Here it says 28 centimeters. But it goes past 28 centimeters. It goes to about um, let's see here, a little bit past halfway, so I'm going to say it's about 28.7 centimeters. 28.7 centimeters. So how many millimeters would that be? Well, like we said earlier, all you have to do is move that decimal place one to the right. So now I have 287 millimeters. Okay, now you can use these measurements to make a prediction. How long would 45 dimes be? Go ahead and try it on your own. Maybe use 5 pennies and 10 pennies and then make a prediction for 45 pennies. Well, I hope this helped you out with measuring length. See ya!